I'm Greg Blemons. I'm uh, in the Division of Neurology and in the Faculty of Medicine and Dentistry. I'm a neurologist that specializes in multiple sclerosis and a researcher in this which we're going to discuss today. And I'm Alan Willman, also in the faculty. I'm an MRI physicist. And Dr. Blevins, can you tell me what your discovery is about? What we discovered with our MRI is in uh, our group of patients that we follow with redox committee multiple sclerosis and in comparison to our control subject groups is a uh, finding of increased brain iron content within the deep gray structures uh, of the brain. And most importantly too, what we also describe really is that there is a correlation of that finding quantitatively to the level of disability of multiple sclerosis. Uh, what uh, we're interested in from this is here now a potential biomarker for the, for the disease. And what does this mean for patients? So multiple sclerosis is a really highly variable uh, disease between individuals in different forms. We have many multiple sclerosis and progressive forms of the disease. And really what we uh, hope to achieve with our discovery is uh, looking at a biomarker that lets us track the disease at different states and stages of the disease. Do you do that in real time? potentially to be also predictive of outcomes of disease, either the natural history of the disease, that's of great importance to patients to know how the disease will affect them, but also uh, how does the uh, biomarker relate to a uh, change in a therapy that we introduce to the patient to know perhaps predictively how that is working for the patient would be of great importance, uh, and something that we generally lack in, in multiple sclerosis. And Dr. Wimmen, how was this discovered? So we used MRI, but a special kind of MRI using a triple strength magnet that's basically 90,000 times the strength of your field here in Edmonton. And this gives us almost a Hubble's telescope type of insight into the brain. We're able to pick up more subtle findings. So using new MRI methods and this high field magnet, we're able to find out what's going on with the iron content in the brain. And what are the next steps for your research? The next steps are to see if we can go even earlier in the disease. We were looking at patients that were three years into relapsing or emitting MS. It would be nice to see if we can find a method for early detection of the disease and look at patients at the very onset of symptoms. And then uh, we're also expanding our patient population to uh, progressive forms of the disease. Uh, and really looking this way, we're looking through the spectrum of the disease early onset, relapsing, emitting, progressive forms of the disease, and in each of these cases following our cohorts, I think really importantly over time, and how does the biomarker change over time, how does that relate to the disease over time. Um, so really, um, development of the biomarker is what we're looking at. Thank you very much.